Okay, questions? Um, do you think this was the best, best game of the year? <laughs> it's hard to argue with 3-0, so, uh, you know, I think, you know, as I'm thinking back of the game right now, I think it was probably the most complete, definitely the most complete game we've had start to finish. And one of the issues, and I think, you know, one of the, the first time I was up here talking to you guys, one of the biggest issues we've had was guys coming off the bench and not giving us quite the lift that we needed. And uh, today, man, everybody answered the call today. I mean, everybody who came on uh, really gave us a, a spark. They gave us a lift, obviously. Um, the goal, Matt Dahlman and Tyler Crasher, right? Two guys who came on uh, and they, you know, they hook up for a goal that really was, was a really calming factor for us. You know, I think uh, after this first half, um, we had a bit of momentum. I thought we lost a little bit. I don't think it completely, um, momentum didn't completely swing the other way, but it was starting to drift that way. And that's, you know, obviously as a coach, when you make changes, you're hoping as you see those, those trends start to happen that your subs come on and give you a lift and kind of continue to push things back in your favor. And the guys did that. Uh, brilliantly today. Uh, the offense kind of throughout the season seemed to slow down a bit. I think only like four goals in five games or something like that. So to come back and get three goals in this game, was that just kind of natural for it to be a little bit of a slump and then to come back more? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, to, to consistently ask, um, you know, for six goals a night, you know, or, or the output that we had, obviously you would love to have that. I think just reality, you know, there's not really too many teams anywhere at any level that are going to maintain that type of. Um, pressure, you know, and so uh, yeah, do, do kind of lulls happen and I think obviously as we're playing teams and um, you know, again just with the way the league is now and every game's on YouTube and scouting and things like that, obviously I would imagine teams are going to be more prepared um, game in and game out and they're going to start maybe noticing some trends and so as a, as a staff, our job is to try to figure out hey, what, what can we always be doing better and you know, again, it, just credit to the guys, they went out and executed and, and did great today. Definitely, definitely. I mean, I think the guys, you know, they're they're a competitive group, and um, to be honest with you, uh, as a staff, it never. I don't think we were really aware of it. I don't think it was anything we thought of. It was just like, hey, uh, what can we do to get better? And you know, guys kept you know scoring goals, and it wasn't until after that game that someone mentioned that. And so I'm sure for the players, you know, that something they want to hang their hat on, uh, you know, to be able to consistently put in goals. And so, sure, I imagine for some of the guys, it was something to prove tonight. Have you guys been putting more of an effort on defense lately over the last month, and maybe that has contributed to a lack of scoring. And do you think that this is uh, something that you see out there where they found that balance between pressing and you know, being able to play good defense? Too? Yeah, I mean, it, and it's funny, you know, obviously you can't look at the number of goals you've conceded and say, like, hey, we think that we do a good job defending. I think, though, that they're, you know, you look at our games, it's not glaring issues per se. I mean, I think set piece is obviously one that we've identified early on um, that was, that's been a problem for us. And it's really hard to, you know, what do you say to guys? It's like, hey, find your man, stay with him and don't let him score. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's not a whole lot of training per se that goes into that. And I think, um, you know, everything else that we've done has been pretty good. Now, obviously, when you give up some goals and it, it tends to, you know, there's a mental probably drop that happens and so I think for us to not concede things on set pieces like today and to just be able to continue to build momentum, uh, build confidence, you know, I think again you see that play out today. Um, a couple player performances. Um, first of all, Dalman comes back into late, you know, around the 70th minute, contributes right away. It's a classic Dalman cross. I mean, what type of, um, we'll just talk about his performance tonight and then what you see him doing from yeah, I mean, classic, yeah, classic Tolman service. I mean, we all know that about him. He's obviously been a guy who's been plagued by some injuries this season. It's just been really unfortunate that he's never really kind of found a rhythm. Um, you know, going into the day, uh, you know, he could have been a, you know, he was on our list of like, hey, does the guy start? Does he not? Knowing New York's personnel, we just kind of felt like it wasn't the best environment to throw him straight into. Um, but we thought, you know what, hey, to close out a game, um, late, can we use that experience higher up the field where it's not as much pressure on them um, defensively? You know, obviously everybody still needs to do their part. And, you know, as a coach, you try to put guys in positions to succeed and you try to play to their strengths. And obviously as a wide player with great service, that's where Matt's going to succeed. And, um, again, you see that today with a great service. And he had a couple other great balls that he put in as well, you know, and that's, um, you know, that's great to, great to have. 
attributing to him for the rest of the year now that he's kind of part of the mix? Yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's the the beauty and the challenge of the job is, you know, as we're now <laughs> the last uh, probably week and a half of training, we've had everybody healthy finally, um, which is something we haven't haven't had. And, um, I don't believe in jinxes, but I can't believe I just said that out loud. So I hope it doesn't start to digress from now. But um, you know, as a staff, that's going to be one of those things. You know, who's hot, who's playing well, who can slide elsewhere. You know, it's it's tough to say where we'll see him. Obviously, we'd love to have his experience. Um, you know, on the field, you know, but obviously if everybody's playing the top of their game, you know, we'd love to get all the guys um, playing to their strengths. So we'll get to be determined. <laughs> and then again, Vincent, just comment maybe on that two goals. <laughs> what do you say? Everything the guys just touches, it's fine in the back of the net. There's not, there is not a player in the league right now that um, I would feel more confident that's going to put the ball in the back of the net when he, when he looks to shoot than, than Rob right now. And he's, they, it's a, a huge, huge credit to him as a professional, as a player, that he shows up every day in training with the same mentality. He shows up for game with the same mentality. And I don't think, again, it's not luck when you see a guy day in, day out, when you know the work that he's putting in at his craft. Um, but obviously, man, I mean, he's just hitting everything so clean that, um, you know, I told my wife the other day that if it's anywhere around the 18, um, I put my chances on Rob to beat the keeper every time. You know, I mean, he's just playing with that confidence and he's just playing that well right now. And there he is. <laughs> All right, so you had three looks at it in the first half, third one connected, where you're just correcting some uh, maybe technical mistakes as far as uh, striking it well. Yeah, it yeah, I think so. Um, I didn't really touch the ball as much as I wanted in the first half. It was kind of a. I wouldn't say a scrappy game, but there was a lot of there was a lot of balls in the middle just to fight for, and you know everything was kind of one touch, just maybe helping Stefan and winning tackles. So I didn't really get as much as I would have liked to, you know, in terms of playing the ball. So usually that kind of feeds into it. If you're getting lots of touches, you feel a little bit more confident. But no, those first two were just kind of feelers, and luckily the third one I caught well enough and it went in. Um, it seems it seems to have happened a couple of times this year. No, I mean if they're, if they're going to give me the space to to hit one from there, I mean I'm I'm confident that I can at least hit the targets and work the goalkeeper. So, you know, for as long as teams keep giving me the space, you know, I'll I'll gladly keep having rip from there. Uh, tonight you started in a whole kind of back in a whole midfield role. Um, talk about your role, uh, with, you know, with that supporting the back line and really the defensive. Yeah, um, you know, well, to start off defensively, I thought we were very, very good. Um, we, we limited them to, they had a couple of decent looks in the first half, um, but we limited them to very few, you know, plays inside, you know, R25. Um, but yeah, from a, from a personal standpoint, you know, I've, I've played there before, played there the last couple of years, so it's not a role, it's not a role that's foreign to me, but certainly takes some adapting to. And like, like I was saying to Matt, um, didn't really get as much on the ball as I would have liked to. A lot of it was kind of defended in the first half. Um, but now, once you kind of get back into the back into the swing of it, um, you start feeling more comfortable. And um, yeah, it's, I had to do a job in there tonight. You know, it couldn't get forward as much as I wanted to, but that defensive job was just as important as going forward. It looked like the uh, the river mouth in the first two months of the season tonight. Was it getting Lodo back? Uh, was it being at home again? The U.S. been terrific here. What would you chalk that up to? Yeah, I mean, we definitely feel confident at home. You know, only one um, loss at home all season in the league. Um, so we definitely feel confident here. Um, you know, I said at the start of the season, it's important we get as many three points here as we can because every, every game we don't win here is points dropped and then anything you can pick up on the road is a bonus. So we certainly felt like we needed to win tonight, um, especially to, you know, with the head-to-head -head with New York. They could be a, a contender come the end of the season, so it was important that we got three points back against them. Um, but no, Lebo was huge as well. You know, he finds those spaces really well. He's got great feet and it gives you something a little bit different. He's got kind of that intangible um, when you're going forward, just a little bit of, little bit of magic. So. He was huge to get back in and made a couple of other changes today and I think it just kind of freshened the team up a little bit. Um, like I say, maybe a slow first half, uh, but once we found our rhythm, I thought we were good. What about uh, defensively? It looked like New York had a, a good push at the start of the first half, start of the second half, but as the, the half went along, it, it felt like they had fewer and fewer opportunities. Yeah, well, all credit to the back five. You know, they stood strong. Um, G pulled off one of the best tackles I've seen all season late in the, in the second half. So. You know, credit to him and Tony um, keeping their centre forwards at bay, um, and then Greeny and, and Stair done a fantastic job keeping their wingers quiet, and, and the boys who came in as well. So, 
no, it was a, it was a good team effort. So I thought we were fantastic defensively, and we picked our moments to go forward well. Uh, you know, now you passed the halfway point of the season. Um, you're tied fifth. What's the what's the goal now? What, what do you guys think? Well, coaches challenge us to, to get better in every quarter. So we, we've split the season up kind of into four type, four times seven games, and we're just looking after every seven games. Are we better than we were, you know, this time last last month or this time two months ago? So our, our second seven games is better than our first seven games. So that's the, the target now: pick up as many wins as we can and keep trying to grow. Um, I'm aware of it, but it's not it's not important to be honest. I wouldn't really mind if I didn't score today, score again until the end of the season, um, as long as we you know make the playoffs and, and make a good run. Um, but now goals are nice and you know sometimes necessary. So yeah, I'm, it's good to be able to chip in. Good. All right, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Like times, huh? yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. It was a nice feeling again. It's been a long. Long time off the field, so it was awesome to come back and start off well. I saw you and Pesh, uh, were you practicing that type of uh, thing at the half? That was interesting how it just panned out. Yeah, yeah, we actually said it right after the uh, goal. We went up to each other. We just worked on that for about 15 minutes during <laughs> halftime, just hitting it across the box to each other, and kind of funny how it worked out. Uh, what's he like as a, as a target? He's just so quick. It seemed like they had a hard time accounting for him. Yeah, pa Pasha's speed is pretty... Pretty incredible. I mean, he's always good at finding little gaps, sneaking in behind defenders, and I mean, he rose up well to get the ball. He just, he always finds a way to create space for himself. He's great with his body, got incredible speed, so he's, he's a good target. So, um, Kevin Kerr plays that ball back to you, and you know, what, what are you thinking at that moment? Are you thinking, what, what are you thinking? Yeah, just, just kind of what I've always thought, just have a touch and whip a ball in a dangerous position and let the guys do the rest. Um, you know, that's kind of how I've had success here, just kind of taking a touch and whipping it in the box. And we've always had guys up front making great runs, finding good space, and lucky enough, pass rose up well and finished it very, very well. And what do you think is your role now going forward with this team? You're kind of a veteran player around this, this group, and, and, um, and really, what can you do to help this team Forward. Yeah, definitely. Like you said, I'm a veteran now, and we have a very young team. So using my using my experience and coming in, kind of calming the game down a little bit, just just kind of getting a rhythm back together. Um, I think I can help the team a lot that way. I can, yeah, just kind of get some confidence back in the guys, just passing around when the game's a little bit hectic. So, you know, and I'm, I'm happy I can do that because, like I said, we've got a lot of young players on the team. So it's kind of nice to be in that role where people look up to you and kind of look for you to get a rhythm going in the game. All right, guys.